Hey everybody here, Steve Chase, and this video we're gonna look at how to create a transaction list by customer in QuickBooks Online. So specifically, let's learn how to display the details of all your transactions. That could include, of course, income, and it also could be billable expenses if you do that feature. But we wanna have a subtotal uh, by each customer. We're gonna learn how to filter by the date range. It might be that you're looking to see this year or maybe all time dates. We'll discover how you might wanna filter it out by customers just to have a smaller segment showing up on your report. And then once you have exactly what you need, then we'll learn how to save a custom report so that's easily accessible down the road. Okay, so the first thing is um, you're gonna start off, you're gonna navigate in QuickBooks Online to the reports section. Um, and as you scroll down, you're gonna wanna look in the sales and customers area. And you should see transaction list by customer. If you don't see it, um, that means, unfortunately, that your version of QuickBooks Online does not include that, so you would have to upgrade to uh, the version that would support this here. Um, okay, so we can find it there. You can also search transaction list by customer as well uh, to find it. Um, now, I'm going to click on this little star here to make it green. And when you have a green star, then that means it's gonna show up in the standards in the favorites section. So that's what happened there. So when I have it there, so. Okay, um, here we have our list here. Now to start off, let's begin by making sure you're familiar with the dates that you'd like to work with. So there's last year, for example, Nothing last year, we've got this year to date. That's probably gonna be a good one here. Um, oh, I meant to say this year by date. I was like, why is anything showing? Now that's, that's pretty cool because that's a dynamic. Um, now the thing is, once it turns January 1st of the next year, it's gonna start over. It's gonna recycle each there. So if you're looking for something to be everything, no matter what, you would select all dates. Okay, so now let's go in and customize it by a few customers. So in the upper right hand corner, you click customize, filter, and then here you'll have the ability to select which customers you'd like to include here. So I'll do four customers. We've got Amy's Birds, Kadisaki, Travis Waldron, and Weisskopf Consulting here. Pretty awesome. Now, the other thing is we can display which fields we would like to show up. The default is date, transaction type, number, posting, uh, memo, description, account, and amount. So going back up to customize, I'll have the ability to display which fields show by clicking on the rows columns, change columns here, and you'll see right there. So if I didn't want posting, for example, to show up, I have to uncheck it. In addition, I can select a variety of other options here that I might want it to, might want to look like. So last modified by maybe, I might have terms, I might want to know if it was emailed out to the customer, like an invoice was it emailed. I could click the sent item there, show us a timestamp on that. So you certainly could play around with that and get that to be exactly how you want it to be. And when you're done, um, you just hit run report. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now, once you have the list here, you can see that's kind of important here. You've got the, uh, the dollar amount being subtotal for each one by each customer setting there. Once you have this set up, then you're gonna wanna save, the, save it. So give it a name, I'll just call it custom, 
customers and, and I would probably type the name of the customers that I was saving this for transactions, then save it. Okay. And where we'll find that is in the reports section. When you're back in the report section, all of your saved reports show up under custom reports. And at that point you just click to, to run it there. Then a couple things, once you're done from here, you can email this report to somebody, just a one off here, you could print it, or you could send it to Microsoft Excel or um, a PDF version of it. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful to learn how to use the transaction list by customer. Feel free if you've got any questions to, to email me at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com to help you out with creating a custom report in your QuickBooks online. Have a great day.